Chaos is everywhere, as the lord of the Nexus orders his servant Haplo and the human child known as Bane to further their master's work on Arianus, the realm of air. But their one-time companion, Alfred, has been cast into the deadly labyrinth. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hemvar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman's The Hand of Chaos. The Hand of Chaos is a 1993 novel by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman in book five in the Deathgate cycle. This book starts with a recounting of the first four books. Again, I found this useful, but if you want, you could skip to chapter one, of course. Alfred was thrown into the labyrinth by his people, the Sartan, for not trusting them in their avarice. It was obvious that the four worlds failed, but there is still a threat. Things will break down more, and the dragon, snakes, or serpents who will rule. Haplo cannot let this happen, because, of course, the patron would be victims of this further breaking down. But he has also come to appreciate Minch, and seen in Alfred that not all Sartan are bad, and has also experienced a benevolent higher power that can fix the world in some way. The story um, kind of ups the contention and neither want between Zar and Haplo, but, you know, it's obviously there as Zar kind of becomes one of the villains, a very misguided one in the series. Bane makes an appearance again, of course, and so does the world Arianus. It starts in Celestra and then goes to the Nexus and then from there. Uh, Ziphnab also makes an appearance, making Lord of the Rings references and being rather forgetful in other things. Uh, Limbeck is, of course, also back because we're on Arianus. He's the new High Froman, and the Kixie Winzy has broken. And the Gags are very changed from the last time we saw them. They have thrown off the elven chains and are starting to call themselves dwarves once more. He finds that Jare, his wife, does not quite believe in all the changes as he does. Uh, Limbeck has stopped asking why. He's stubborn and not in the good way he was in the first book. A little apathetic, definitely, I guess, not progressing, so to speak. The dwarves are at war with the elves of Arianus, and Limbeck believes the elves uh, shut off the Kixi Winzy. He's getting a little paranoid, of course. There are other more exciting things to see that haven't appeared in the last books as well, which I can't really spoil here. We do get more of the elves of Arianus. We meet their emperor and get politics involving the humans of the mid-realm. We only kind of get a glance at from the start of Dragonwing. Part of this novel follows a member of the Hand and Iridal as they risk life and limb to save a child, and this involves secret societies, odd elves, magic and sneaking, and very, very evil people, even ones that you normally don't expect, um, or pragmatic, if you would prefer that word, <laughs> over evil. We also see more about the Cure Monks, a sort of death cult that takes in boys to raise amongst themselves. Um, a clue is coolly in, used, like in the Labyrinth of Minos, a kind of a fun classic callback. Uh, this one honestly feels really good compared to some of the other books in the series. The story goes along smoothly, as opposed to all the intros we get earlier. Uh, it's nice to be back in Arianus, which we are somewhat familiar with. We also get some twists revolving around magic and enemy beings. Haplo himself uh, will be stretched and challenged as never before. This is one of my favorite in the series. Um, though I believe book four would probably still be my favorite, and I have now finished these, all these, as of recording these. I still think it's a, in some ways, a very unoriginal, in some ways, as a series, right? With these uh, very Tolkienian-esque uh, races and D&D-esque, well, utilization of them. But then the world building itself is pretty interesting, actually, and decently well done. So, anyways, I did enjoy this one, and I will give you my thoughts on the last two books shortly. Liam's from Liam's Lyceum. I will catch you next time.